Hey guys, welcome to this brand new video about Al Dente Pro. If you haven't seen my original video already on the free version of Al Dente, do check that out because in that I explain everything about why it's necessary to have a charge limiter and the basic features of what this app does and everything like that. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you the brand new version which they have released called Al Dente Pro, which adds a lot of features and a lot of convenience compared to the free version. So first I'll bring up the website to show you what's new. So you can see here that there's a completely uh, new and improved interface with a lot more settings, which I can actually show you here. So this is the free version. You can see these are all the things that you have. So launch it, login, allow discharge, which I explain all of this in the uh, other video, and then you can change the charge limit here. However, with the new version, as you can see, there's a whole new settings tab. So firstly, we have sailing mode. So what this will do is, is as you can also uh, read here, is instead of letting the battery go down by 1% and then recharging it and then it constantly doing that, which can be uh, bad for the battery, what it will do is, is it will allow it to uh, discharge by a certain amount, like I have 5% set here, and then it will go back to that amount. And so yeah, next we have heat protection. So what this will do is, is it will set a max temp and then at that temp it won't charge the battery anymore because the higher the temperature you are and if you charge then, then it's worse for the battery. So this way if it exceeds a certain temperature, it will stop charging, pretty simple. And next we have calibration mode. So uh, let me actually bring up the website for this part. So what this will do is, is every, you can set a schedule for it it will, and it'll do it itself, it will reduce the battery to a certain percentage and then increase it again. And what this does is, is it calibrates the battery because if you keep your battery at a certain percentage all the time, it can not be actually harmful to the battery, but it mess, like what the computer does is, is it guesses how much battery is left. So the calibration can go off if you leave it at a certain percentage, which means, for example, if you had it set to 50%, then it might mess up and the computer might turn off because it thinks there's no battery left when there is. So you can obviously do this on the free version. However, you have to remember to do it. You have to set it back and then you have to set it uh, forward again. And this just does it all for you. And you can read some more information on the website here. And then other things we have is top up. So once again, this is another convenience feature. So of course, on the free version of Al Dente, you can set it to 100% and then remember to take it back. But in this is just easy. You just press top up, it'll make it 100% one time and then it will fall back. And then obviously we have some more user interface improvements like live status icon so you can see exactly what's happening with your battery. And you just have some more information about uh, what devices are available. So now let's go on to pricing. So the one for a one year subscription, it costs nine pounds 98. So for that, you will get all the same features as the lifetime license, except it's a one year and you can cancel at any time. But with the 21 pound version, obviously if you're gonna be keeping this for many years, it's better value because it's just a one time payment. And another thing to think is, is if you really care about your battery, like a battery replacement could cost up to like $200, whereas this is a one-time uh, £21 payment. And you can also use this uh, one key for up to three devices. So if you get a new device, all you have to do is put in your activation key and you'll get it. So it's not like this is, has to be linked to your Mac. You can have it up to three. And if you get a new Mac, you can enable it on that. But anyway, guys, that's it for me on this one. If you want more information about why all this stuff is even useful in the first place, check out my previous video. And thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.